Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Let's get this thing loaded up and uh, got a quick little video for you today. I won't be too long on today's video because it is Sunday on this holiday weekend. Hope everybody's enjoying it. Let's get this thing loaded up real quick. I'll be ready to rock. All right, guys, as we load up here, a uh, good little video for you today is more of a knowledge video, helpful video, hopefully. Uh, it's not going to be necessarily geared against, uh, you know, the links I mean, of a particular game on the Super Console X King, X Cube, X3, whatever it may be. Uh, this is more uh, in tuned uh, with just being familiar with purchasing these consoles. I want to give a little advice. Uh, hopefully it's helpful. Uh, it's all from experiences I've experienced uh, being in the business I'm in. Uh, I am in the e-commerce world. Uh, you know, I'm a big affiliate of Doraza.com. You guys have heard me say that numerous times through many of my videos. Uh, you know, and with that being said, you know, there is times and issues where uh, for even work with China, AliExpress, Alibaba, whatever it may be, when you're, you know, making your purchases, you go there and you make a purchase, right? You're a regular person, you're making your purchase for yourself. Uh, whether you're doing free shipping, express shipping, or whatever you're doing, you know, you're hoping that, you know, this console is going to be sent to you uh, properly, the right ones, gonna be functionally working properly, uh, you know, and you're hoping for that, you know, and, and hopefully, I'm hoping most of the time that is the case. But there is times, I'm going by comments I've actually read in my own feed on some of my videos where even Amazon, and I even put Amazon because when you're ordering one of these consoles from Amazon, it's right from China. It's, it's That's why if you look on the shipping day, especially in the X3s, it's like three weeks out because it's coming from China unless they have their FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon, they have their consoles stuck um, with the distribution center at Amazon. Now, when you're ordering from AliExpress, being a regular person, you know, just making a, a regular order, you know, think about this. When there's something wrong with that system, how apt are they going to be to help you in that situation? Then let's just say a company like Daraza, who spent thousands upon thousands of dollars uh, with building relationships and making crazy purchases of consoles and, and knowing you know knowing how everything works, uh, you know, who do you think China's gonna work with first? Somebody like you know like me and you that are regular people that are just buying consoles, or an actual company who's built those relationships, and when something goes wrong, they're gonna make it right with Daraza or any other company. Give an example or any other company out there, any big e-commerce company that's doing business with China uh, to get these consoles. Let's, let's call it as his guys. That's where the consoles come from. They come from China, AliExpress, Alibaba, wherever it may be. Now, I don't care who or what U.S. seller uh, and they're selling them. They had a destination originally, and it was there. So with that being said, guys, it's very important to understand this. All right, because it does happen. It happens out there. Let's just say you know you you make your purchase uh, and it's like a three to four weeks delivery because it's free. They send on, they send on a free or whatever they do or, or their their type of shipping. You receive it a month later. You're excited. You get the console. You take it out the box. You hook it up. Something's wrong. You get a red screen. You get a blue screen. Something it's not working properly, or or the controls don't work. It's like what do you do now? You waited a month to get this console, so now you're basically jumping. You know you're very frustrated. You're very pissed off. Then you have a language a language barrier. They have to deal with and you're trying to either and then what they want to normally do is just refund you or give you a percentage off they don't want to because they, they cost too much money for them to resend another console because of the fact they'd rather just like take a percentage off and just tell you basically to figure it out which nine times out of ten that doesn't work because you want what you paid for okay so the idea of this video today guys is i know it's a little more expensive buying from a u.s seller whether it's on ebay whether it's on you know with daraza.com or whoever it may be, whoever your outfit is out there of making or Amazon, just keep in mind when things go wrong, yes, you might have got a little cheaper in the beginning, but that peace of mind when you do spend a little bit more, that peace of mind if something goes wrong, you have a company that has an established relationship uh, with these, you know, these companies overseas. So guys, quick video today. I really just want to go over that. It's very, very important. Uh, because when things do happen wrong, when like, you know, a wrong console, a damaged console, something gets out there, it can be very frustrating. That's why I've learned just to simply buy from a source. I I'll pay a little extra money. I'll take the hit because in my mind, I'm paying for insurance. Because if something does go wrong and, and that console is not working, now I have a U.S. contact, somebody that speaks my language, 
that can get it rectified for me or work with me to get it established and fixed. You know, right, guys, that's all I want to do today. Quick video just to go over that. It's very, very important. When you have a company out there that already has those relationships established, they're going to make it right with them because somebody like Deraza or anybody else, do you think that they're going to say, if they came and said, I'm done with you guys, your service is bad, I am not working with you anymore, that's it, it's over. You know, I'm going to go somewhere else. They go, no, 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 please don't. You guys, you know, you paid so, you, you spent thousands upon thousands of dollars on buying consoles or whatever it may be. We're going to make it right. We're going to make it right. And that's what you're paying for, guys. Keep that in mind going forward when you do make your, your um, you know, your purchases. You know, in good faith, you know, this is not happening probably a lot of the time, but to the ones it is happening to, and I've seen it in my comments, even from Amazon, I've seen it in the comments, the problems it's caused. And people just end up hating the system because not every system is perfect. I've gotten lucky. Every system I've received has worked fine. I've had no issues at all. Uh, but I know I've heard stories about controls not working properly, uh, games not loading properly, uh, so on and so forth. It's just peace of mind, guys. I wanted to give my knowledge out there to you. Uh, and with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. Hope you enjoy your gaming or whatever it is you guys are doing today. Enjoy your day off tomorrow. Um, I'll be back up Tuesday uh, with, um, I don't know. I don't know what section I'm going to do, guys. I, might, I, I have a lot of requests for the Super Nintendo. So I might hop onto the Super Nintendo on Tuesday and play around with that, okay? With that being said, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, real quick, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I just, oh, and I also want to say, guys, real quick, I'm so sorry again. I really appreciate it. I just broke over 500 subscribers. I know it's a small, minute milestone, but hey, I start off with like five, <laughs> so I'll take it. So, guys, all the ones people that are subscribed out there, I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot. I know it's only 500 subscribers, but hey. Everybody's at a starting place. I know Mr. Beast, not to compare to him, obviously he's a massive influence on YouTube, but his first year in the business, he had 730 subscribers with 100 videos. So basically where I'm going at, I'm on pace. <laughs> with that being said, guys, it's funny. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one.